back in Korea and we're going to be spending about a month here. In case you're new here, my name is Steph and along with my husband Pete and our son Hayes, we travel a lot and we've spent about three months in Korea across two other visits, but we haven't been here in about 18 months. This month, we're really excited to partner with the Korean Tourism Organization and rent an electric car to drive basically all around the country. So we just landed in Seoul late last night. We have a few days here before our road trip gets started and we're just going to kind of run some errands, visit some of our favorite spots. We have a friend in town and kick off our Korean road trip. And our first stop, I don't know if this is cliche, is Gwangjung Market because I really just wanted Binde Talk and, uh, and our friend Jess is here. We haven't seen her in 10 years. We used to all live in London at the same time. She wanted to try the Yuko and we're having Macaulay and it's really great. We're gonna eat so much over the next month. Here's We're gonna come to Seoul when it is absolutely gorgeous out. Today is stunning. Just trying to keep an eye on that haze to the pool in this river. Speaking of the beautiful weather, today is April 2nd and there's cherry blossoms in Seoul. I think we're going to see even more on some of our future stops. What a nice surprise! It looks so beautiful. We're in a village now. And, like, you're not in the video, Mommy. Oh, I'm not in the video? Yeah. Just, just your chin? Upward shot of my. Have you shown them the chairs? <laughs> oh, have you shown them these? Oh. We can leave. Oh. 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 O
development happening. So that was interesting. It feels like we've just been here, but really we haven't been here in a year and a half. So if yesterday was about just like hanging out and catching up, today is about preparing for our road trip that starts tomorrow. And so we're doing that in a couple of ways. Pete has gone with Hayes to pick up the car and I'm on my way to get a facial. A lot of our comments have always been like, you should get a facial, you should explore K-beauty. It's not something I'm like, know a lot about, um, but I saw this place that I wanted to check out. So Jess and I are headed there while Pete goes and gets the car. We're at Phoenix Clinic uh, and we just had our consultation with, this is Jess by the way, I introduced her Hi. yesterday, but she's back. <laughs> uh, we just had our consultation with Dr. Kim, so lovely. He lived in London, we all lived in London at the same time, which is funny. Hmm. Um, I don't really understand what we're getting, but we're gonna, we're gonna come we're out getting beautiful. people, I think. <laughs> <laughs> you have to do this in Korean. This it's is taking, before. It's taking me a th three visits, so it feels like third time's the charm. I'm gonna like delve into the, the K-beauty world. Is this K-beauty, K-skin, I don't know. Skincare. Y'all let me know. Skincare. Very Beautiful. Exciting. Shave off 10 years. Here we go. <laughs> I think we're done. So, we have finished our... We, we have finished our email of Jobeth! Jobeth! Oh, what did you do? Did you get a car? Did you get a car? So we've finished our facials and we're now having uh, Dak Alvi because Pete and Hayes got the car. I had a bit of a stressful time finding parking and we saw one of, the, ooh, we saw one of these places. Uh, so we're going to eat this. But what I had done, so she like washed my face and then, are you listening to what I had done? Anyway, that's a whole new world to me, but it was a really lovely experience. Dr. Kim was patient and wonderful, and I recommend it. It's called Fine Clinic, uh, and now I'm curious what else is out there. What are we all doing? I think I was saying something about how like it feels like we were just here, but it's actually been 18 months. And in the 18 months since we've been away, they've introduced a new beer that we're curious about. Made that new friend Kelly. I guess it's made by the by Jinro, the like soju company. Hiya. Hiya. But it's like trying real Hiya. hard to be Danish. We're gonna try it for the first time. Ooh. It tastes very Danish, isn't it? Well, it's <laughs> pretending to be from Denmark. Well, you, you knew that. Right. I always say that Pete and I have like disproportionately uh, supported the Danish beer industry because in, we lived in Shanghai and the non-Chinese beer there was Tuborg and then we moved to Mumbai, India and the non-Indian beer there was Carlsberg. <laughs> Nothing wrong with Chinese or Indian beer. We just also drink a lot of Tuborg and Carlsberg. I, I flipped it. Hey, Pete. Oh, Are you going to show me this car you got? Oh, I'm excited. No, no, so. you need to close your eyes. I need to close my eyes? You Why? Can't. He wants to guide us. Oh. It's a big reveal. Hey. I don't remember which one it is now. Hey, do you remember where it is? No. Oh. How we... What color is it? This one. Oh, white. Look, do you know what I have on the side? What? Oh, yes! So when we started filming these YouTube videos, we thought, like, do I talk to the random people on YouTube or do I talk to my actual friend Jess? We thought that, um, we were like, wouldn't it be cool if we could like, be those YouTubers one day that like asked a question and like people actually answered it in the comments? And for months and months and months and months, that was crazy. And every time we thought about it, it was like, nobody's watching this, so of course nobody's gonna answer. And then we got to Korea and we asked, what are the blue things on the cars? Can anybody? comments I've been really you've seen this yes I've seen it like on so many cars and I really want to know what it's for this video is like two years old and I still get comments that are like it's to not hit other cars and there's like hundreds of people telling me that it's so funny so anytime we do something like that again and there's like a bunch of people at answering the same question that's already been answered we're like oh it's like that Korean thing. So we actually said a few days ago, we were like, I oh, hope when we get the car, we should get those blue things and put them on the door. This is a really dumb story. So you have to buy them? I don't know. Let's ask the, ask the audience. <laughs> Where does one get the blue things? Do they come installed in the car or do you have to buy them and put them on? <laughs> That's why you put them on. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Case in point. They're like really, they're very functional. Electric car. Oh yeah. <laughs> How do I open this? The automatic elevator? The car elevator. We're gonna go on that. It's gonna take us down. Up. Up. Because 
that's like closed. It doesn't look like oh. it. Look behind us there. Moving. Didn't feel like we were moving, it, hey? Like a weird sensation. Oh, yeah. oh, it spins you around? Damn smart. That's so clever. Wait, so it's straight out to the street. That is wild. But yeah, let's see how much this costs. <laughs> 13,000. That's not bad. That's, that's not bad at all. I kind of love this store. <laughs> Next stop on our prepare for our road trip is a trip to No Brand for some snacks. Our journey tomorrow is like under two hours, but we need road trip snacks. What do I buy first? I don't know. We're not buying that much. Do we think there's a car section? Next stop is Daiso, but the car section, I don't know, we thought there'd be like more fun car things. I don't know what we're looking for. We just wanted to go to Daiso. More snacks. Oh, we got more snacks? Daddy, we got more snacks. Good morning. It's our last day in Seoul. I don't know how we've been here three nights. It's gone by so fast. It has felt very chaotic. But we're going to our next destination today. We're just checking out of our apartment. We stayed at this place called Wego Stay that we stayed at before in their, like, Myeongdong, Chungmuro location. They've got a few places throughout the city, and we really like them. It's like serviced apartments but really high tech very simple very sleek i don't know Seoul apartments are like so unique so we thought we would give you a little room tour before we head out but that's not my job that's pete okay, let me show you around this great room uh bed dining area here uh, and then kitchen something we love about korean houses is that you have this little step down take your shoes off and then come into the apartment so nice uh, washing machine, cooker, all that kind of great stuff. Lovely bathroom. And my favorite function in this bathroom is, can I press the button to lift? And then close the toilet seat. How great is that? Um, and finally, keep coming through here. I'm gonna turn around this way. Obviously this is where we've been sleeping, but a separate little nook for haze. And then we can close off this door here. Watch TV, chill out in the evening. It's all great. Thanks for watching this video. We are going on a whole... The video's not over. Oh. By the way, this was their Gangnam location. Uh, we've never stayed in this area, and to be honest, Gangnam is not like my favorite, but a lot of people love it, and it is very convenient depending on what you're doing in Seoul. Uh, so it's it's been fine for three days. But let's go get the car, I guess. Thanks, I'm a holly. It smells like pizza? Yeah. Does it? What? How do you do that? What? Can I try? <laughs> I love this car. Already? Yeah. Just super cool. Our road trip is about to begin. We're headed to our first stop. Why does one charge it? It's on your face, chocolate monster. Can I turn on the button? Okay. Okay. This is driving Stephanie Banana. Yeah, because I'm sure there are other females out there who will relate. Pete's reluctance to pull out the Google app. He likes, he prefers to just like stare at a block of Korean text and then just go, hmm, 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 forgetting that we carry computers in our pocket and have the ability to actually know what's going on. However, we did translate it and it's not a lot clearer, but uh, my pet peeve lately is his unwillingness to use Google Translate. We'll try again at the hotel. I think that's a better plan. One of my issues with the charging was that the guys at the rental company gave me this card and um, they said it was something to do with the charging. They didn't really explain what it was, but maybe I need to use that. We'll find out more when we get to uh, our next destination. <laughs> Hot dog? It's 
my idea. Right oh wait, was this a good idea to come and check out this area of it? I'm a little bit hangry. This is a good place to be hangry. There's a lot going on here. Can I do some my ketchup? Can I do my my whole name on it? Well then I'm still outside. Hayes just uh needed some alone time. Which is always ready. Chop something up. We're getting closer to it. Yeah, what do you think it is? Have you ever seen anything that looks like that? Oh, what do you know what I think it is? A Lego? Lego what? I think I just a Lego castle. A Lego castle? Yeah! In Korea? Yeah! Oh no, 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 no. Is this what I think it is? What do you think it is? Oh, I know what this is. This is We've been here before! I remember, I remember, remember that jacket. What is it? I, I, it's a what? You, there's a way you inside it. I know what I, it's like really cool. Can I do something? What is like, it? I, I just, what is it called? I just want to get out. <laughs> What's it called? Remember? What's it called? I don't know. Legoland? Yeah, it's like... I just want to get it. Hang on, hang on, <laughs> hang on. i got to go park the car. And stay in now. I'm going to go yeah, park the car. Stay in, stay in. Do they have Legoland in Korea? Yeah. Mm -hmm. this, this, we've been here before. Do you remember that dragon? Yeah, but we were in a different country. Oh. But should we go to Legoland? I want to go first. Can we go here? Can we stay here? That's okay. Should we spend the night at the Legoland Hotel? Yeah. Can I really do it, Mommy? Yes? <laughs> I've enlisted some help. By the way, we're at Legoland. She saw. We made it to Legoland. We've now been to Legoland and we're on our way to our next stop. I think I teased letting you know what we were doing in the next three to four weeks in Korea, um, but I forgot to mention it. So if you want to see where we're headed, that will be the next video. We've got loads of videos from Korea coming up, a lot of places we haven't been, a couple places we have been, um, and we're really excited. And I figured out how to charge the car. Oh, there's so many updates, but we've got so many videos coming. So if you want more of that, you know what to do. Da 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 da